Let's take a look at AMC stock, what's happening. I'll definitely show you my portfolio and my results. We'll also look at the options chains, touching on volatility, the volatility smile, historical volatility. I'll also show you price forecasts based on options, what the market is predicting and with what probability. I'll also show you new features. Let's see what artificial intelligence advises us, what position we can open. I'll also show you the results of my AMC stock trading for the week, how much I managed to earn, what happened to me, but first things first. Let's go back to AMC stock for the past week. The stock continues to decline. As we can see, it's been four weeks in a row, almost a month of decline. Last week we dropped by 20%, and this week we fell another 13%. AMC stock continues to decline, so everything here is really going in a negative scenario. Rumors of bankruptcy are starting to circulate, but I think we're still far from that. But the situation, of course, is also developing very poorly, primarily due to the company's additional share offering, which negatively affects the stock. Let's jump straight to assessing volatility. Volatility is currently at 100%. As we can see, volatility has increased slightly, of course. This is due to the deep decline in AMC stock. Let's look at the volatility smile, what's happening there. As we can see, options are heavily skewed towards puts, options betting on a price decrease. Again, investors and traders are anticipating a potential price drop, so they're buying put options for hedging, hence the volatility smile is skewed towards the downside. We can see that the upside volatility is not increasing at all, indicating that the probability of an increase is very low. Currently, historical volatility is represented by the gray line, while implied volatility is the white line. We observe that implied volatility is much higher than its historical values, indicating that we can profit from volatility movements. Now, I'll show you a very important chart. Typically, all beginner or intermediate traders try to profit from price movements, whether the stock goes up or down. Guessing this is impossible, let me say right away, nobody knows where it will go. However, trading volatility is much simpler, my friends. But I want you to change your view on trading. You don't need to trade the stocks themselves, you need to trade volatility. If you don't know how to do this, keep watching videos. I always talk about this. So look, if we say that volatility is returning to its historical values, which always happens, betting on volatility should pay off. Let's move on to devising strategies, what I suggest to you. The program, the terminal will now calculate for us what can happen in the graph. We also specify in the volatility, we write down the drop and say that the volatility will drop, for example, by 30%. And as we can see, all strategies are automatically calculated for us immediately. We see that one strategy has a 96% profit probability while the other has 100%, and what are they offering us here? The first strategy is to open a calendar spread, meaning we sell one option for May and buy one option for June. As we can see, the profitability is immediately shown what we can earn here. We can look at the following strategies. This one is very interesting. They offer us to buy one option for May with a strike price of $2, sell three options, one for May with a strike price of $2, and three call options with a strike price of $3. Also sell an option with a strike price of $3 and sell three put options with a strike price of $4. We can lose $400 on this strategy, earn $100, but the probability is on our side. Again, I am trying to tell you in more detail what strategies, what methods can actually be used. There are a very large number of ways to earn money, both on volatility, as we can see, they show profiles excellently, what can happen to us, what losses we can incur, and everything else. I really like this strategy, my friends. The most important thing is not to stand still, but to keep developing. I will always show you more and more new information because many bloggers discuss nonsense like how many short positions we currently have open, showing you all these 16%, how many shares we currently have in a short position, but my friends, this is all nonsense. Don't even pay attention to it. Besides, they can't show you anything else, and in reality, it doesn't affect anything. Also, all bloggers just lie to you there, enticing views, talking about some incredible short squeeze, which I guarantee you definitely won't happen. But I'll tell you a little more about that later. I'll give you a real example of how you can make money. There are really many strategies that allow you to earn. They just wait for some short squeeze over the course of several years. Okay, let's get back to historical implied volatility. I think you understand what I mean when I say we should trade not stocks, but volatility. I've already shown you that. Now let's move on to open interest and trading volume and options. As we can see, we have a very large volume concentrated at levels of $3, $4, and $5. That's regarding call options. Let's look at put options here. We have a very large volume concentrated at the $2.5 level. We need to pay attention to these levels with significant volume. I always show and explain this. Let's also see what the options market implies. Again, nobody will show you this, but I'll try to immerse you as deeply as possible in the topic. The options market suggests that by June 21st, 2024, the price of AMC stock will be in the range of two to three dollars with a probability of 36%. The probability of falling to one dollar is 25%, and the probability of rising to the range of three to four dollars is 21%. So my friends, the options market implies a higher probability of decline than of increase. And here I want to go back to my trading style and philosophy. Remember, I have no idea where the stock will go. I don't trade based on technical analysis. I trade based on mathematical expectation and probability theory. If you learn to trade according to probability theory, you will make a profit. I guarantee you. 
So someone buys these stocks hoping for growth, but let's look at probability theory. We just need to trade according to these values, and that's it. If you trade like this, you'll make money. Here the options market clearly indicates that with a probability of 25%, the price will be between $1 and $2, and only with a probability of 7%, the price will be between $4 and $5. So the likelihood of us going above $4 is just 7%. The question is, are you willing to bet on that? But that's very low. If you studied math in school or college, you should understand that this is not realistic. You see, there are two types of mindsets, analytical and more creative. But if you have an analytical mathematical mindset, you should pay attention to probability theory and expectations. The question is, if you simply base your trading on faith, you lose money. As we can see, you're just losing money. If you want to play around, get a good emotion, then maybe it's fine. But if you want to make money, quit your job, and live a good quality life, you need to change your thinking. You must act according to probability. If probability theory suggests that we're more likely to go to $1 than to rise to $5, then that's the path we should consider. This needs to be played, exactly this needs to be set. Someone will say, this is madness, how can an AMC drop to $1, it doesn't matter, forget about it. If the probability speaks about the fact that the price can fall, then you need to trade, so that's it. End of discussion. Forget about the huge growth. Well, if you're just given hints about the market, you're just given an answer where the stock might be. Why argue with the market? Why believe in all these bloggers? I just don't understand. So let's now look at my portfolio. As we can see, I carried over options and with a big drop in options, I didn't do very well so I had a small loss, but that's okay. I also decided to leave 10 options for them to mature. As we see, it's five options with a strike of $7 and five options with a strike of $6. Now I have 1,600 shares of AMC. Let me put this in a table and we'll look at my result. I had options mature. And here you can't forget about the accumulated profit. That is the average purchase price for me is $4.28. This applies to the option with a strike of $7, so I actually bought these shares for $4.28 because I was also paid for it additionally. Again, I had five options with a strike of $6 executed. Also taking into account the premium, I acquired these options with an average price of $4.24. And now let's see, I now have a total of 1,600 options with a price of $4.39. Also, I still have a fairly large number of open options, but again, I'm not worried about that at the moment as everything is under control. Let me add a new column to show what has happened this week. Today is April 13th, 2024, and AMC is currently priced at $2.65. I'll add this to the table, and let's look at the result. Since I now have quite a lot of shares, my portfolio is also in the negative. I remind you that the experiment started with $10,000. My goal is to outperform AMC shares in a real example of trading. As we can see, my portfolio had a significant growth moment, reaching 22%, but then AMC shares dropped very sharply, and my portfolio also fell at the moment. Currently, I have a small net loss of 3.5%. Let's look at AMC. As we can see, since the start of the experiment, AMC has dropped by 36%, almost 37%, and my portfolio currently outperforms AMC by 33%. The blue line represents my strategy, while the red line represents AMC. If we had simply held on to this stock, undoubtedly, I would also experience a decline because the stock itself is falling, and I now have a significant number of AMC shares. However, if the stock starts to rise, my portfolio will certainly grow much faster. My profit is associated with trading options. As we can see, I have realized a profit of $1,700 from an option, which allows me to feel confident, calmly buying options. Now that I have a large number of shares, I can use additional strategies such as selling covered calls. Everything is just beginning. Just watch and learn from my actions and you will profit. This strategy can certainly be applied to any stocks. I didn't claim to you. I'm showing everything in detail. Here I show the portfolio, what positions are open, what's happening get. I'm not just talking about charts and showing you AMC as if someone bought something there. It's all nonsense, my friends. From the very beginning, I've been telling you about all these bloggers. They're all liars and they only make money from views. Everyone who tells you about short squeeze to some levels of $100, $250, it's all absolute lies. They just lie to you. And of course, they don't show any positions themselves. I show you everything in maximum detail, as clear as possible. More detailed, I just don't know how else to show. I think I've shown, well, everything is as clear and detailed as possible. Nobody else does it like that anymore because nobody actually makes money on stocks. Everyone makes money exclusively on views. That's it. That's why I don't respect all these bloggers. I'm maximally open. I show you quite serious, very complex strategies. I always say that you need to evolve. I'm sure you will succeed too. You just need to change your mindset a little trade, relying on hope, not on belief in miracles, but on mathematics. If you learn to do it precisely, you will make money. It's not even up for discussion. Also, I remind you that soon, when I get monetization, I will open a new account, absolutely new account. I will also like with AMC stocks, for example, show and tell you everything in maximum detail, how we will build the portfolio, why, how I will buy everything, everything will be from scratch, everything will be maximally open, maximally transparent, all the money from monetization I will spend on replenishing the account. I think everyone will be able to replicate this. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the experiment. Let's get back to AMC somehow. Anyway, 
If AMC doesn't go bankrupt, and if nobody buys it out like Amazon, I assume that sooner or later, there should be some bounce, some upward movement. It's difficult to say to what level it will move, but again, according to these charts, according to theory and probability, we can safely expect the price to move to $3 to 4 That's quite good, quite acceptable. After that, I'll close many positions. I'll make a good profit, so I fully expect such a price movement. I hope I've explained everything in detail to you. If you have any questions, write them in the comments or email me. I also advise you to watch my previous video about AMC where I also analyze in detail where this stock could go, explaining my portfolio. Good luck to everyone.